That's here, guys. Bunked Vungers. Uh, I think I'm here. Fair. Mostly. Cute. Mayor. What? You cut out. He, he said he was here. Okay. I'm here as well. Super hot. Uh. <laughs> uh, so last we left off, uh, Pierre crippled someone. Crumpled him. Not crumpled him. I said. Do you want Jesus in your heart? He got he like an arm. What? Can't fret over every egg. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, Farron, you're just kind of hanging out by this tent. Atlas cartography the sign reads. Yeah. Um, Bug. You have yeah. an armful and a bag full of tools. Uh, I guess Bug's gonna go try to deliver those to the blacksmith. <laughs> Am I finally getting through? Um. Why are we still quoting fucking revenge? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, that was quick. Hello, oh, Bug. I will honor this agreement. Okay, I'm looking at a different shadow that's really distracting. <laughs> uh, was it really this easy to find? She looks at you like carrying all the like stuff. I had to hurt people! Uh oh. Well, they probably deserved it. I mean, probably. So we make weapons and armor after all. It's good for the war economy! God, no. shut, <laughs> Joe. I swear to God. I don't Well, let's let's get started. Um, and she walks out to the forge, um, and starts like throwing logs on the like hot ashes. Um, like just using her like forearms, she's like struggling to kind of like get the like wood into the like into the forge and get it hot enough be a dear and help me yeah i'll help what where'd you go oh i i did check help and it did stealth <laughs> What do you mean, check stealth? Uh, this is getting fucking meta. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. What, do, what do you need help with? Throw some wood on the fire. Bug will throw some wood on the fire. Can you do a strength check? <laughs> you are... I meant this more as, like, a overtime. You, like, keep loading wood onto the fire... And you notice that this fire is incredibly hot. Working nine to five. That sure is a hot fire. It's been burning for 500 years. I think. Passed down generation to generation. Huh. 
Sometimes the fires moved, but it's always been the same flame. Well, at least that's what they say. It's probably horseshit anyway. Interesting. You better write a song about me someday. What's your name? Is it Eric? No. It's Aaron. Holy shit, I got that pretty close! Aaron what? Stronghammer. How strong? Um, can you do a history check? Oh, Check his star. Oh, wrong <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so hard. Listen, pal. <clears throat> you have heard stories about the strong hammer like family. They're like renowned smiths. They're their family is as, is as old as Dwarven history. Whoa! Um, the songs that depict their strength um, and, like, skill and artistry and, like, forging um, claims that they, like, created great swords that killed dragons and beasts of ancient times that roam no more. So what I'm are you making? Pretty strong. I will not be making anything today. Oh. You will be my hands. Holy shit! You know, I made some armor a while back. Really? Yeah, it was pretty bad. May I see? Um. I don't think I have it. I think I'd left it next to a big boulder covered in blood. So yeah, what do you need me to do? Keep loading wood on the fire. Well, that's what I'm doing. You want me to do anything else? Wait. So, keep loading wood and wait. Okay. Uh, would you... Was, would anyone else like to do anything? You ever wonder why they call it oven when you of out, eat the cold, hot, eat the food? She looks at you like you're speaking abyssal. I am. <laughs> Hugh? Yes? What are you doing? I'm where, with wherever the other fellows are. Uh, Pierre kind of like walks up to you and says, Do you know where Bug went? Yes, I do. I thought you guys went to go get that, um, tools from that tower. Yeah, we did. And we had uh, some trouble. Well, why why didn't you come get me sooner? I, I think I took care of it. Oh, well, are we ready to head out, fight whatever? That bounty boar was talking about? I think Bug is, uh, doing something with his quest. Uh, was there a forge around here? I don't know. Don't ask me. Yeah, there is. It's back that way. And I'll start jerks a thumb over in the general vicinity of the forge. 
Every building in this town looks the same. Yes, I am sick of it. Why would they look different? You never add personality to anything you own. Not to a building. Well, I for mean... these... For these people, their homes are the only thing of worth they have. The temple did have decoration. It Her is room true. Did have a uh, sand. We did not put the sand there. There's engravings on your armor right there. No tactical event. Yeah, but those are insignia. And it's purple. Purple? Oh, wait, are you wearing uh, your earned armor? Yeah, Balsar just automatically assumes any piece of armor he is wearing is like the same dull gray color. Oh, I forgot it was purple. I hate purple. Don't we know I... someone who also hated purple? Sorry. Did you... Did you know that... That purple is the newest color? What? The archer's guy, like, looks at you fair. I dabble some in... History. Well, obviously, in the... In the natural world, there was probably something that was purple, but civilization, for the longest time, could not figure out how to make anything purple. That does not mean purple did not exist. Well, it didn't exist for people. But, uh, I could- we could see it. No, fair enough. You mean it's the only, it's the most recent color that we've been able to, like, create as a dye, correct? We all, everyone still knew what the fuck purple was. Well, there aren't many things in nature that are purple. Maybe uh, a lavender, a flower uh, or two. The lavender, purple chief, slime. The. Uh, uh, yes, but you can't use mushroom. those. Mushroom. You can't use those things to make dye. You Not any good out. dye. Do you only care about dye? Oh, for the for the longest. You are wearing time. kind of a purplish robe. Yes, but that is why purple is the most expensive color when you go to buy things. It wasn't until they mashed up a certain species of clam that they found a substance that could work for purple dye. Not one person figured out how to do it with magic? Mmm, no. Uh, what good are you fucking wizards then? We're good at very specific things. Like jumping at spiders. Wait, didn't Bug say the armor had no fingers? That is what he said. I'm... We're gonna be here a while. Yes. Hey. Um, Bug. How's the fire going? Um... You're throwing like pine, pine wood, which burns really hot on the fire. Um, and then poplar, and it, and it gets painful to stand next to it, like more than, like closer than two feet. Uh. What the? 
What um, what voice am I using? I'm. I believe uh, you are using uh, somewhat of a, uh, it's, it's a bit of a academic-y sort of voice. It's a bit of a meandering rambling. Meandering Art rambling. Art card. Um. Where's the yeah, black she... famous? <laughs> Aaron is like, like sitting in her rocking chair, just like rolling back and forth. Um. Scowling. Yeah. Okay, that is enough. That's good, because I can barely stand near it. She comes... Did you, like, set all the stuff down inside or outside? I, I figured, like, on somewhere that seemed like a safe spot. Maybe not, I didn't just go inside her house without asking. So probably like underneath something. Like underneath a canopy on the map. Okay. She like kind of stands up and like squats down next to like all the stuff. They destroyed my most precious tools, but this will do. Um... Grab that crucible there. Does Bug know what a crucible is? Does he? Uh, I think he would... It's probably like a big cylinder that gets real hot. Yeah. Because Bug knows about the metaphor of a crucible. Like, to go... You know what I mean? Destiny memes. No, not that crucible. No, um, stop. Not that one. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you see it and you grab it. Um, awesome. Now put the iron bar in it. All right. Bug takes an iron bar and puts it in it. Now, do you see the rack above the fire? Well, I'm right there, and Bug points at it. Yeah. I want you to take the tongs, grab the crucible, and put it put it in there. Oh yeah, cool. And uh Bug does that. Uh do you think Bug would be able to lift this fine or how heavy is this? Yeah. Um Do you see the wheel on the side? Yeah. Here of fire. Lower it. Crank it. Um, the, the, like, cylinder, like, seems to descend into the, like, center of the fire. Um, and it's not happening yet, but, like, it's becoming, like, orange with the color kind of increasing, um, and she stands on one side, like, um, like, lifting her foot up and down on, like, some bellows, like, puffing air into the fire. Cool! You... Zack! You... Um, after probably, like, half an hour... Of just her pumping um the the like bellows um she's like okay it should be hot uncrank it um and as you kind of uncrank it uh oh god um yeah okay and she, she like starts, like telling you how to kind of forge the plates, um, um, can do a constitution check. Um, 
Um, you like continue, um, like your arms and legs becoming fatigued as you're like following her instructions. She seems very like upset, uh, and not very understanding, but she's trying. Um, as you like pour the metal into like actually you don't pour it uh, you like begin hammering the metal as she directs um, and then putting it like back in the fire and hammering um, for the next several hours actually damn um, does anybody have anything else they'd like to do yeah what, what is everyone else doing like in the meantime yeah um hmm Um, Fern can probably go and just sit on like a bench <laughs> <laughs> and like just like read a book. Nerd. Yeah. Um, you see Tom there, just kind of like sitting on the bench across from you. you just ignore him for several hours. He comes over and he, like, tries to make conversation. What does he say? <laughs> oh, it's getting warmer, is, is it? Yeah! Uh, are, you, are you going after the... the yep. silver thing? Mm-hmm. We are. How's that going? Have you found any clues or anything? Oh, it's going great. Oh, do you have any information? You'll get that when we bring the head. It's the agreement. I could give you some gold right now for any information you have. You may not kill it, and I'm sure the next person who tries to go after it would love that information. Uh, we know it's not a dragon. Really? How do you, how do you know? Dragons don't live around here. He kind of like looks around and looks at the walls. Huh. Walls are a little outdated. I'm pretty sure dragons do live around here, if I'm not mistaken. Or if they do, they don't leave their caves. Then why do they come to feed on her flesh? Other than to sate their demon hide. They feed on your flesh? Or You look fine to me. He just kind of grumbles. You haven't seen a dragon. I have. Not everything is a dragon or from hell, you know. Our ton to smite you. Uh, oh, well, I'm maybe sure... Maybe I don't know everything. I'm sure he will. He just stops talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like grabbing like uh his like necklace. Um and he's like kind of just praying. While he's praying, I'll for I'll blessings. Like, I'll I'll like look over and say, Do you have a spare one of those? A, a spare one? Yes. Or do you know he where I, I can he get He points one? to the base of the um, tower. And also to the Dwarven statue in front of you. I would just lean backwards on the bench and take one. <laughs> and just <laughs> put it around my neck. 
<laughs> but like tuck it under my shirt. I'll see if anything. Our tongue just guide you. Yeah, I'm sure he will. We'll see, I guess. Um, Hugh, Bowser, do you do anything? Nope, Bowser. Fear's just of... hanging out. Bowser is just kind of flicking a coin into the air and catching it again. For hours. Yeah. <laughs> For hours. Bowser is easily distracted at times when he needs to be. Well, it's going like an epic quest. You guys are like, hey, I'm going to I'm going to loiter. I'm gonna loiter. You guys are loitering. Malasar got his gear a while ago. <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> the loiter of the rings. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lean over to Tom and just go, Is there a church here, Miss Town? You mean. Do you temple? people have, like, churches? You people have God. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Where? It's not open to outsiders. Is it just our pundits? Or is it a... Uh, like a... You know. The... The monks there... They serve us many fates. It's not. Can you point me in the direction? No. No. <laughs> Why not? We don't like outsiders going to to it. What if I want to learn? Possibly that's be tough. become a. F <laughs> Did you just say that's tough? Go somewhere else. There are other churches, other temples. We're in the middle of nowhere. Then make your own. And he kind of like looks <laughs> the other way. <laughs> CEO of racism. Um, I've walked by a, a like tavern, right? Uh, yeah, there's one just uh like, across like yeah. This there. one or is it this one? I don't know which one I've walked by. Uh, the bronze bar is by the okay. shaky spellcaster. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna walk in there, see if I can see any holy people. Do a, do a religion check. <laughs> Damn, you see Artundus himself. <laughs> I go up to a random dwarf. And, um, are you Artundus? The music kind of stops. <laughs> <laughs> I was told I could learn something from a uh, Artundus. Oh no, the music stopped. He just speaks in Dwarvish. Uh... What? In... In... In Dwarvish, I'm just going to, like, say, like, spaced out, Are you, or do you know, where Artundis is? Oh, and the music starts playing again. <laughs> our Tundus is our lord in the sky. Where can I go to? To he uh... protects us. Yeah. He comes from the stone, the sky, the Don't air. Don't you have a church ground. here? Music stops again. <laughs> Man, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I really and it turns out just to be the change of view. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh 
Um, and uh, we usually don't let people in the church because we've had a few travelers drink too much of our our party dwarven ale and then trash it. Oh, don't worry. I I I I don't drink any alcohol. I'm simply curious about your religion and then I've heard that the monks that you have uh harbor many religions and whatnot. Yes, uh, it is over by the main hall. Um, where where our governor sits. Um, clan leader. Uh, we're in a little bit of a you could say change of government. So. I have noticed, yes. Um, it is down the steps um, in the warm of the of the government building. Uh, you ah. may, have, may have seen that this is a, a gate. Uh, not close to water. The eastern gate. Yes. Hmm. Sometimes well, but... I spend so much time indoors, I forget the sun is out there. Ah. Uh, yeah, I... I think if you ask nicely, they'll let you in. Well, thank you very much. You could, uh, buy me drink, perhaps. I'm sorry, but I have to go and learn the ways of your people. He just kind of, like, pauses, and then he, like, nods his head. He's like, okay. <laughs> and and he takes, like, a big swig. <laughs> I'll, I'll get up and walk out of the tavern and kind of walk by everyone <laughs> and just walk, like, this way. Do I see like a like a sign on any of these buildings that say like town hall or something? One sec. Um You see like a, a big brick building. Um it's this building over here. This one? Yeah. Um. And it definitely looks big enough to hold everyone. And, like, it's the meeting place. Mm-hmm. I will go and walk in if the door is unlocked. Um, you walk in and there's, like, a little lobby. Um. And then, like, the way to the downstairs is unblocked by doors. Um, it looks like anybody can just walk. No, not the sleeping giant. Yeah, in. Trying, yeah there we go. That's um, what I wanted. And you That's... go down. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you just see, like, various stone pillars. Um, all the way back, the most grand is Artundus, but you see some other dwarves and, um, some other like religious symbols i'll go and uh, stand like, at a like smaller shrines yeah i'll go stand at one of the like smaller ones uh you see a like kind of like a tree with a face on it hmm um, there... And it looks very cracked and old and depreciated. Are there any, like, monks on there? Or, like, monks no. around, I mean? Mm. Can I put a 
a name to this symbol? Uh, you can see somebody's carved into the stone floor below it, Leaf Lover. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, um... I think, uh, is there like a, uh, <laughs> is there like a, I'll just go to a, another there are shrine, like, a, there, there are a couple, like, there are a bunch of, like, just, like, pendants, um, like, around this leaf lover shrine, um, hmm. and it looks like it's just, like a like branch like a little twig on like a string mm. with like a leaf on it they all look identical um and they look like they're made out of live wood and you're not sure why they're not like rotted mm. and it's like a necklace yeah i'll take well is there anyone like in the same room as me? Uh, there are a couple monks, like, like, dwarven monks, um, like, spreading incense around and, like, tending to each of the shrines, except this one, apparently. <laughs> I'll walk over to one and just go, um, do you know who that shrine is for over, over there? Are you talking in common, or? Uh, I'll talk in dwarvish. If they're a dwarf, I guess. Uh, hold on. Bah, that is Sylvanus. Nobody Sylvanus. likes him. What is, uh... What is he the, uh, god of? Why do you want to know? Are you a uh, bloody leaf lover? I was just curious. I just see all these lovely shrines, and uh, that's the only one that seems to be neglected. He is old Father Oak. He is wild of nature. Hmm. Well, if, um... If you could recommend... A god. Um, which one would you pick? That is not Artundis. He just kind of looks at you confused. <laughs> like, what? Uh, what's your favorite like like shrine? That's uh, not 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 the big one in the back. Is that's obviously your favorite, but. I only pray to Artundas. I just keep care of the other shrines for people of other faith. I do not really know. Is there anyone here that does know? Yeah. Maybe Father... Mm. Are you sure you want to... To look at these other shrines. Artandos is good. Uh, he offers protection and stone and... Yes, yes. I'm just, uh... I'm there curious are some, about the other ones, you know. There are some books on others around that... They should give you some insight. Uh, and he, like, points to, like, one shrine. And, like, points to, like, the book that's in front of it. I see. Well, thank you very much. And I'll walk over and open the one he pointed to. Uh... This one is
Um, it looks like. Uh, like an ocean, um, kind of like like little like waves around a uh, like goddess, like a human looking figure. Does the book ha have like a name? Or like say like goddess of the sea. Uh, it says on it, um, Eldath. Hmm. Is there a necklace with a holy symbol on it? Uh, there doesn't look to be one. Um, this shrine is, like, a lot smaller. Hmm. I'll look for a shrine that has, like, a book and a necklace, if possible. If, if, if there is one. Um, <laughs> you see... A gnome statue. <laughs> um, and like the gnome, like has like little boats next to him. Uh, the like symbol. Is like a little like gnome, um, like on a necklace, and it also has some like like wrist pendants. Hmm. Uh, with a book. I'll open the book and see what it says. Um. It begins, uh, it's like, Dreadnought, um, the, the unquenchable, the unquenchable, <laughs> and it begins talking about, um, these like old ships that this like gnome used to like command um it was like an entire fleet and um it's very in-depth um but you've heard of this person before um and they're known for kind of like anti-magic field and spell jamming and um just basically anti-magic effects because um, they were like fighting dragons mm. on their ships. All right. And um, yeah. I'll take one of the like holy symbols. You said there were like bracelets? As well, yes. Um, but is there also like a, like a ne like a necklace yes. as well? I'll just it's take a. It's okay. the same thing. Y yeah, uh, there's like two configurations. Oh, okay. I'll take a, a ne a necklace then. Um, as you kind of continue, there's other, uh, like, religious items, and you kind of pick them up and go through uh, until you finally get to, like, Artundus again. Mm. Okay. 
Um. Okay. I think I'll walk out and see what everyone else is, is doing after that. Um, I think we're gonna go back to Bug real quick. Um, okay. Bug, like she is getting kind of upset. Um, and she's like mm -hmm. having and hawing. Like there is something I must do. Your technique is terrible. Yeah, I'm trying my best. I want you to open your mind. <laughs> no, no, em empty, empty mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is empty. Um, you see her, like, close her eyes, and she begins to, like, squint her, like, nose, like, wrinkle it up, and then she, like, her face goes blank. Bugs thinking about static. Oh my god. Crackle, crackle, ah! black, white, crackle, <laughs> static. Blue. You feel a presence brush up against your mind. Oh, fuck. I want you to stay calm. I give over the presence immediately. <laughs> I'm going to use your hands. You're not the first woman to tell me that. Just don't try anything non-blacksmithery. Uh, and you get this incredibly creepy feeling. As if something is like moving underneath you. Your skin. Ah, scabies! And you feel your body move. Like, without your will. Yeah, I'm just gonna let, and, like, give over to it immediately. Like, fold my mind immediately. <laughs> well, I'll be over quicker if I just let it go. And your body, like, swings. With like anger, it almost feels like like pounding the metal into the desired shape. Um, and as you're in this like kind of trance, like every once in a while, like you like you like twitch, and she seems to get like upset a little bit, and then she's like moving back and forth between the house, and she's like. Sitting, standing completely still with her eyes closed. Like, moving you around. Yeah, I'm just kind of letting it happen. Um, you become incredibly tired. Because the, she just keeps heating the metal and pounding it. Over and over again. Um, I'm going to try to hold on to maintain, like... The best technique possible. Yeah. Like try to withstand the tiredness. Yeah, it should do a constitution check. Ooh. They call me tough fungus. Uh oh. They don't call me that, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and as she's kind of like in your thoughts, like, what is, what are you thinking about? What do you want the armor to kind of like look like? Um, do you have any influence? Bug is going for like, um, like the knights of old, like a storybook kind of thing. So I think what he's looking at is one second. The little like tip on the top with the flag. Or like yeah, or like the the poof. Um. Yeah, a little like froofy bit.
Uh, I thought, uh, I'm trying to think what, um, uh, what's the closest comparison I can give you. Um, she's continuing to shape the metal. Um, she has, like, spare pieces of, um, armor that she's like reshaping in the house as well um and you're all you're kind of like zoned out like out of your own body kind of feeling uh but you notice something catch your eye um let me double check something Yeah, like, I think what Bug would be going for, because, you know, he still isn't the strongest kind of guy, so he can't have, like, a full set of something heavy. Not really. So, my thinking with that would be um, something along the lines of, like, a like a breastplate with, like, maybe some iron uh, pauldrons and maybe a helmet. And then, um, like, how they have, like, the techniques where they use, like, steel bands on leather to make, like, the uh, arms and legs. Mm -hmm. it's all kind of coming together it's not exactly how like you thought it would be but it's like what you wanted kind of it's like still kind of like amazing um because it like draws from your inspiration and makes it kind of like more practical Mm -hmm. As you notice, um, she like takes this like green kind of dye paint mm -hmm. and splatters it over the metal and it like sizzles and then disappears, um, seeming to almost bubble in the metal. Um, and as she continues to, like, hammer, um, it becomes kind of this marbled, uh, like, greenish white. Like, green and white marbled together. Hmm. Whoa! This is getting cool! This... Is the point where she like retracts and like, <clears throat> like you take control of your body again, and you are incredibly tired, like, <sighs> like just shaking. This is your time to enchant or give it its special ingredient, and I'm now rushing for some reason. Um, <laughs> oh, special ingredient. Give it a special ingredient or an enchantment, or well, I noticed you have some sort of flute of enchanting. Maybe the... well, I was in your head. Oh, I figured I'd, I'd use this, and Bug pulls the bone breaking gem out of his bag in the cloth. That will do first... wonderful. This was the first thing that came to my mind. I mean, it it's, will it's... be destroyed, just so you know. That's fine. This is the second one anyway. This isn't even the first one I got. I figured it could do something cool, you know? Um, She kind of, like, slides back into your skin again. That kind of feeling. Um, And... She puts it onto the, um, like, center of the chest piece. While it's still, like, glowing orange hot. And she brings down through your body, 
um, like through your hands, the hammer. And um, the you can feel like an energy coming through her connection with like your mind and then out of your mind into your hands and you feel the jolt of energy go into the gem into in, into the armor and it breaks and shatters and yeah. is absorbed into the metal whoa cool um and as you keep like hammering it um it seems to like draw together again and there's a little like green uh like almost glass looking shiny bit in the center whoa do we make that We did. Wow. Um, and then she takes the armor and quenches it in like oil. Um, like working on all the pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should be enough for today. I hope so. I'm about to pass out. You oh. are stronger than I thought. I'm stronger than I thought too. Dub inside, I will give you give you a dinner. Um I might want to go check on my friends first. I have a feeling they're just loitering around somewhere. Seems like when I leave happens, all the fun comes out of the room. You want me to bring them back and introduce them to you? It's everyone else that helped uh, save Volander. That'd be wonderful. Under. Right? I'm going to attempt to walk about 10 feet. Uh, do a constitution saving throw. You've been working for hours pounding metal when you've never done this before. <laughs> um, your legs get rubbery. And, like, you have to crawl. <clears throat> but it's pretty easy because you're not wearing any <laughs> clothes. Not like <laughs> I what the f so bugs. <laughs> it's so <he's> moving. <laughs> what I, is I, I'll be right back. Bugs doing this. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I recommend looking up jelly leg and gift. <laughs> Just trust me, it'll be the best thing you ever do. Actually, no, this is bug. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the pants episode. <laughs> it's the pants episode. <laughs> Bug is attempts to crawl like Leonardo DiCaprio from The Revenant. Guys! Hello! Bug? <laughs> no, just crawling up from an alleyway <laughs> is Bug Fungus. Hi, guys! I knew you'd be around here somewhere! Why are you on the ground? What have you guys been It has been hours, um, and Bug is covered in, like, like, you can just smell it, like, smoke. Um, and he's, like, smelly. And, like, covered in soot. Did you not get the armor you wanted? It has been forged! I have forged it myself. That's what I've been doing for hours. Where have you guys been? We've been loitered. Ballister points to the ground directly where he's standing. Wait, you guys have been loitering? I was right? Mm -hmm. Wild. Okay. Well, I'm, uh, I'm here to take you guys back to the lovely blacksmith so she can meet you all and give us a nice meal. Come on, guys! And Bug starts crawling back, back to <laughs> the house. Follow me! I assume everyone comes with him. Yeah. 
Probably. Joe, what the fuck? <laughs> no, do not put the leg on backwards. <laughs> I think that's that's just what bugs lo legs look like normally. <laughs> They're backwards. Yeah. Um. After going back, um. Yeah, she so just kind of stands there, like, looking at everyone. Now, um, Mrs. Aaron, this is, uh, the Coalition. Uh, we have Balasar. He's pretty cool. He, he has a, a big sword, and he stabs things, he gets angry. That's Pierre. She walks over to you, to you Balasar, and, like, looks you up and down, like, head turning sideways. She's, like, looking at your armor. What lovely set. Good. Good. Workmanship. Are you, are you tired too? I, uh, what the fuck? Come in, come in. Come in. <laughs> she like walks back through her door. Guess follow her. Yeah, come on. A uh, bug attempts to get up. Now you crawl. Okay, bug <sighs> crawls. Valstar walks through the door right behind Bug. I'll be behind him. Thank you for getting my tools again. No problem. Thank you for making me this cool armor over there. So, like, do we need to, like, let it cool, or do I need to, like, put the finishing touches on it, or... Do we need to do anything else to it with it tomorrow? I think... It is done, except for... Some finishing touches, yes. It is... Not often that I get to make armor in a day, but I had spare pieces. Hmm. Um. Bug is passing out. You may sleep on the floor if you wish. I'd say you're a blacksmith, right? Yes. As opposed to any other color smith. Funny. Um. Do you by chance have any marble? No. I deal you, with metal. Do you by chance have any sulfur? No, I deal with metal. Who are you? Is Fuck, why did you let this leaf lover to my house? I'm really sorry. He just kind of he he's he's all right kind of. Um he 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 told me that I that I tore his pants or something and he lied, but aside from that he's usually cool. Aaron walks this, out of the room. <laughs> oh, Aaron, come back. I'm going back to Tom. <laughs> the gang finds Farron on a on a park bench, <laughs> stabbed fifty times. Oh, no, you get Jack to about to here a when a guard like like you're just like looking Earth down, and she like or no he like puts his hand out and you just like run into his hand and then like flop backwards. Do that. You look like you know magic. Do I? Do you know any magic? Do you? No. You look like you know magic. He like walks up next to you, like 
and is like leaning down close to you, like bending at the waist. Don't mess with me, magician. And he like turns no his magician. hand into into a point, and he like taps your chest. Do you know any magic? Mm. If I cut you open, will you spill out magic? I will spill out red magic. Mm. So you deal with blood, huh? No, I do not. Do you know deal much blood, blood magic? I do not. Why do you think I'm some sort of ma magician? Only magician wears robes like that. And he points to your robes. They're comfortable. Yeah, it's because a traveler needs to worry about comfort rather than being stabbed. Right, if they know magic. What's in your pockets, huh? And he starts, like, he, like, slowly fl inverts, like, um, or not slow, like, like, he, like, grabs your lapel. <laughs> and, like, lifts it up so he can, like, look at the inside pockets. Oh, just your average stuff. Uh-huh. Like ash? Yes. Normal people don't carry ash around in glass vials. Is he holding the glass vial? Uh, no, he's, like, just pointing to it in your cloak. And he, like, shuts, like, shuts your cloak. I'm putting you down. What do you cast, magician? And he, like, pulls out his, like, ledger. My mother was cremated. If you must know why I have ashes. Oh. Can you do a deception check? Mm-hmm. <laughs> A decent lie. Plausible at best. What's your name? Baron. Full name? Baron Thromlock. Uh -huh. And what do you cast, Farron Thromlock? I don't cast anything. Then what do you do? What's your job? I'm on vacation. From what job? I deal in spices in Elsmira. Oh, yeah? Name me three spices. Rhubarb, oregano, thyme. He kind of scratches his head. What's rhubarb? It is used for... Well, seasoning, as most spices are. It's kind of a reddish-leafed plant. Hmm. I have some right here. He, he, pull, pull he pulls you up. Oh, then I'm I'm sure you'd love to cook for the governor. We, we're actually really in need of a a spice and a, a chef. I am no chef. I sell spices. I do not know how to use them. How do you sell something you don't know how to use? I sell it to people who do know how to use it. Well, that's better than nothing. Uh, we formally invite you to cook. I don't sometime. know how to cook. Or use your spices to make our horrible gruel any better. I am on vacation. I, I don't have any spices other than that right there. You do a deception check. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. Farron 
Thromlock. Spice Cellar. On vacation. On vacation. He turns around and walks back towards the uh, like the gate. Is Tom there at the bench? Uh, he looks like he went home. Oh, okay. <laughs> or somewhere. Uh, with that, I think it's a good place to end it, unless anybody has anything else they'd like to do. Yeah, that's good. Bugs pass out on the floor. <laughs> Farron, can you do a perception check? What are you doing? Epic. Mm. Uh, it looks like the fountain in front of you uh, is red. Looks is like somebody... Red? Yeah. It's red for some reason. That's fucked up. Is there anything in the red water? Uh, you smell it. Doesn't smell like water. Hmm. Smells like wine. Like <laughs> Like wine? Good. Yeah. Boy, he's done it again. <laughs> huh. Uh. Um, you feel the bench beneath you kind of raise, like you are, you are coming off the ground. Uh oh, Baron will sit up and like, like, like stand up from the bench. Um, you see the roots of the pine tree behind you, uh, like pick up the bench. And, like, turn you towards the tree. I'm just gonna yell out, Guards! There's a- there's a mad druid in the streets! I'm gonna end it gonna... there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Next time on... Farron meets, meets... Meets the tree. <laughs> Farron meets... The leaf lover. Farron drinks the water that the Ents have in Lord of the Rings that makes Pippin ten feet tall. 